Yo, yo, what is up guys? It's Cohen back again today with another video. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna do, take a quick look at the All-Star Weekend. Uh, as I'm filming this video, it's Friday. I believe you're gonna see it that same day. But the All-Star Weekend festivities are coming up on Sunday for the first time ever. They're all in the same day. Um, skills Challenge, three-point contest before the All-Star Game, All-Star Game first half, and then the Slam Dunk Contest at halftime of the All-Star Game. It should be really fun. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's Like it says, it begins at 6.30 p.m. You can see it up here here i never figured this out up there at on uh, the graphic that i have pulled up here shout out to mark stein for this graphic or at least he's the one that posted it i doubt he made it so uh starting at about 6 30 will be the challenges it'll probably won't start till like 7 7 30 these events never start on time but i just wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on each of the events uh these are this is really for fun i don't have a lot of stake in these because they don't matter that much but you know i thought it'd be fun to go through give some of my thoughts um talk a little bit about some participants that maybe i would have liked to see in these events and just my thoughts on all-star weekend this year in general so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the taco bell skills challenge i love that they all have <laughs> sponsorship names in the name of the challenge now i yeah, it's it's the NBA. What are you going to do? So talk about skills challenge. Our competitors are Robert Covington from the Trailblazers, Luka Doncic from the Mavericks, Chris Paul from the Suns, Julius Randle from the Knicks, Devonta Sabonis off the Pacers, and Nikola Vucevic from the Orlando Magic. Now, my first thought is that I would have loved to see Shago Just Alexander in this competition as a Thunder fan, as a huge fan of Shago Just Alexander. I felt like he definitely could have been in this competition. I would like to see him in it, but I understand they did mostly All-Stars and then Robert Covington, I guess. I don't know why he was the choice here. I feel like the, his best skill is defense, and he you can't play defense. In, I guess you could play defense in the skills challenge. It'd probably be frowned upon if you start trying to guard the other guy doing the skills challenge. In case you don't know what the skills challenge is, basically you have to get a ball you have to uh, run down the court you have to make a pass you have to dribble around some cones on both ways and then you have to make a three-pointer that's the basic gist of the skills challenge and so for that reason i'm if i had to pick a, like a couple finalists i'm gonna think chris paul is one of the finalists i am biased he's one of my favorite players so i'm gonna pick chris paul and i'm gonna go with i feel like it's probably i feel like they typically do like a bigs versus non-bigs type thing so I feel like it would end up being actually no, because it could be anything because it's a three because there's three on each side of the bracket. So, yeah, it can't they can't do that. Uh, I'm going to go Chris Paul and I'll go I'll go DeMontis Sabonis. Sabonis got second place in this last year, I believe. Uh, so I would not be surprised if he does that again. Uh, he's got a bunch of skills. He can pass pretty well. Um yeah, I feel like Luke is kind of destined for failure for some reason. I don't know why. That's just a gut feeling. I feel like Chris Paul's got this. I think he's been in this like five times, and I think this he's going to win this time. So I have him and DeWatt to in the final, and like I just said, I think Chris Paul's going to end up winning the Taco Bell Skills Challenge. So mark that down if you want to come back to this video afterwards and call me an idiot. Maybe someone else wins. Maybe Robert Covington, who I just talked smack about, ends up coming in and winning. That would be cool to see, in my opinion, but uh, I'm going to pick Chris Paul for this one. I think Chris Paul gets it done. Now we have the Mountain Dew three-point contest. Like I said, the sponsorships are everywhere, such as the Kia All-Star MVP. But in this contest, we have, it's all All-Stars, which is pretty cool to see, honestly. We have Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, Steph Curry, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum. Obviously, would have loved to see Clay in this if he was healthy, get well soon Clay Thompson. I would have also loved to see Mike Muscala as a super biased Thunder fan. I thought, I think it would have been cool to see him in here. Or just more bigs. I like to see when bigs shoot threes, and I, would, I like to see how they do in this contest. Um, we just didn't get the opportunity, I guess. I guess they didn't want to give Vucevic a shot here instead of the skills challenge, but I don't know. Um, so obviously, before I go into anything, the favorite has to be Steph Curry. It has to be. Um, he's the greatest shooter of all time. I don't think anyone's going to question that. Um, probably the person who I think might do the worst is Donovan Mitchell, just because he is the worst three-point shooter out of this bunch, if I had to pick one. I'm pretty sure that's just statistically this season he has been the worst three-point shooter. Although sometimes that doesn't matter, really just kind of, because it's not like a game-type situation. This is nowhere near a game-type situation. You have to grab it off of a rack on the side and bring it to your chest instead of just like catching a pass or coming off the dribble. And then obviously you're not, you don't have people defending you. There's not all that stuff to worry about. There's not game fatigue. So it's a very different situation, which is why Steph Curry is not a lock because, you know, even if you are the greatest shooter, of all time it's a weird situation so um i don't really want to pick steph i don't want to pick steph just because i feel like that's boring so if i have to pick finalists i'm gonna go i'll, I'll say steph makes it there and then i'm gonna go i'll go zach levine and I think I'm going to pick Zach Levine as my winner for the three-point contest. I think he ends up becoming the first player ever to win the dunk contest and the three-point contest. Um, he has a really nice release. It's I think he has kind of the build and the release to kind of do well in this type of event. 
I don't know. I'm just giving Zach Levine. Most of this is honestly just gut feelings. It's like if I was smart, I probably would have picked Steph Curry because that would have been the smartest bet. Um, instead, I'm not going to go with him. I'm going to go with Levine. Now, the slam dunk contest, oh, excuse me, the AT&T slam dunk contest. Um, these participants are, there's some really good participants in here. Anthony Simons can really get up. Cassius Stanley, I believe, broke Zion Williamson's record for vertical jump at Duke, which is incredible if you've ever watched Zion play basketball. And Obi Toppin led the uh, led college basketball in dunks last season, and he just is a great dunker. These are really three great athletes. The problem is, and I feel like not a lot of people are going to watch this, or a lot of people are just going to call it bad just because of name recognition. Like, the casual NBA fan might not know any of their names. If they maybe they know one with Obi Toppin having been a top 10 pick in this past draft, I think he's probably the most recognizable name to most people. Even though Anthony Simons has been in the league for a little bit, he's not been anything crazy up to this point, I'll do, although I do like his potential, and he loves to torch the thunder for some reason. Um... So if I had to pick this one, also it's weird that they only have three participants instead of four. I don't know why they only have three. Maybe there's there's no way only three people want to participate. There's no way. Um, so if I had to pick, um, hmm, I don't think I'm gonna pick Simon's just because guards typically. Like, he could definitely get up, but I feel like this is normally, like, a wing-dominated event. Like, I feel like wings win this more than anyone. <clears throat> we can look at Zach Levine. We could look at Derek Jones Jr., who just won it. So those are two guys. I'm not going to pick Simons. So it's between Cassius Stanley, Obi Toppin. Um, I'll go Cassius Stanley. I think Cassius Stanley can jump out of the gym. I think he's going to come out with something creative. Um, he hasn't gotten a lot of playtime, so he's had a lot of time to come up with creative dunks. I believe he's going to come out, kill it, and I think that he's going to really put on a show. I feel like this is de definitely going to be a better dunk contest than most people are giving it credit for. I'm going to pick Cassius Stanley. And those are my picks for the events. Now I will move on to picking the All-Star game. All right, I'm over here now on the other side of the screen. I think this is the first time I've ever put myself on this side of the screen. Um, but all right, now we're going to take a look at the All-Star game, and I'm going to predict which team's going to win. Now, on the right, we have Team Durant. On the left, we have Team LeBron. And uh, if you don't know, they did this as like an All-Star draft. Now, the reason <clears throat> Team Durant seems to have more players is because KD's not playing. So he ended up getting to draft another starter. So I'll go through the rosters real quick. Team LeBron is LeBron, Giannis, Steph Curry, uh, Luka Doncic, and Nikola Jokic <clears throat> for the starters. And then for the reserves, it's Damian Lillard, Ben Simmons, Chris Paul, Jalen Brown, Paul George, DeMontis Sabonis, Rudy Gobert. Team Kevin Durant is Kyrie Irving, Joel Embiid, Kawhi Leonard, Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum for the starters. And then for the reserves, they have James Harden, Devin Booker, Zion, Zach Levine, Julius Randle, Nikola Vucevic, and Donovan Mitchell. All right, so... Just by looking at this, um, I fully expect Team LeBron to win. I would be surprised if Team LeBron didn't win. They've got guys who try a lot in the All-Star game. They've got guys with chips on their shoulders. <clears throat> I think Chris Paul is like kind of an All-Star game type player. Like he love, he goes hard no matter what. He's a huge competitor. I think he's going to go hard. I also think Jalen Brown is going to go super hard since it's his first All-Star game. Uh, Dame always goes hard. Uh, he's uh, Steph Curry is kind of a Showtime player. Uh, him and Giannis, they've had they've played in the All Star game before together, so I think they have that chemistry there. Um, and just talent wise, they just I think they just out talent the other starting lineup. Um, so I think that they win the definitely win the starters battle, um, and then the reserves battle as well. I don't I just think that Team LeBron is better built, and once again, <laughs> LeBron outdrafts the other GMs. Um, Giannis and Durant maybe should not be GMs because LeBron seems to destroy them every single time. Um, yeah, I, I got Team LeBron in this one. I don't think it's going to be a blowout or anything. All-Star games are never blowouts because there's so much talent on the teams, but I think that Team LeBron is going to end up taking this one, and they're probably the team I'm going to be rooting for just because they have Chris Paul because no Thunder players made it. Russell Westbrook, my favorite player of all time, didn't make it, so Chris Paul is the Thunder guy on here, so I'll root for him. Plus, DeMontis Sabonis, former Thunder guy. Paul George, also former Thunder guy. Oh my god, there's more people on Team LeBron than I thought. Yeah, I'll go for Team LeBron. I think Anyways, so that's all for the video. Um, let me know who you think is going to win these All-Star Game events. Um, once again, reviewing my picks for the dunk contest, I'm picking Cassius Stanley. For the three-point contest, I'm picking Zach Levine. And for the skills challenge, I'm picking Chris Paul. And then for the All-Star Game, I am going with Team LeBron. So those are my four picks. Let me know what your four picks below are in the comments. If you made it this far, say SGA should have been an All-Star. That's just kind of what I'm going with because it's near All-Star Weekend. And he should have been an All-Star. So if you made it this far, drop that in the comments. Drop your four uh, projected winners and let me know what you think of my picks let me know if you think they're terrible just let me know so leave a like leave a subscribe uh yeah and i will see you guys later everyone say back